80% of keeping on top of your goals is just this. Welcome to episode 8. So this is going to be a continuation of episode 7. So we're continuing with the goal setting theme. Not every episode will be about goal setting moving forwards, but it's just these two episodes are sort of linked together. So, so what we're going to do is, is hopefully you've followed that episode and you've set your goals now or you've come up with some meaningful goals. And now I'm going to show you how I actually track that and keep on top of it. Okay, so I'm in Google Docs at the moment. So if you don't have Google Docs, I highly recommend setting that up. Uh, we'll have, if you follow the link and go through to the blog, uh, we'll have a, a description there about how to do that. Um, yeah, so just follow that. Uh, and I will also provide a link to this exact document. So it will give you access to this so you can swipe it. Um, so I've actually got two tabs here. So this is an example, which I'm running through today. And then this is your 2020 goals here, which is blank. So you can fill in all your own information in here. Uh, just don't do it actually in this document. Um, go, go up to file and say new, new spreadsheet, and then that will create your own spreadsheet. And then come into the corner here and right click and say copy, or you can do control C and then paste it into your own document because there'll be a lot of people looking at this exact version and if you make changes to this, then everyone will see those changes. So try and avoid that if you can. Okay, coming back over here. So this is basically how I format my, my goal uh, tracking. So up the top here, I've split mine over business, family, and personal. I try and be balanced. You could be different. You can have all personal, you can have all family, whatever. Um, there may not even be a, a pillar cl classification in there. So you can remove that or delete it if you want. Um, and, and just you know, don't feel like you have to keep it the way it is. This is just the way I do it, so you can edit it however you like. Uh, so then under here, I list the core values, which hopefully you've determined from the, the exercise in the last episode. Um, it's just good to just have them there as a reminder. It just sort of helps keep me on track. Sometimes throughout the year, I have difficult decisions to make, and to be honest, sometimes it's like you know, path A or path B. I, I look at more core values and that sort of helps me decide which path to go down. Um, so it's always good to have those handy. Here I have reminders. So this is like anything that you think is like maybe a quote that's going to help you achieve your goals or maybe you've you know failed your goals for a few weeks and you, you think of a reminder um, to, to get you back on track or whatever it is. So for me right now, and this changes, you know, I, I delete this and add something new in occasionally. Um, but for right now, uh, what are you doing on a regular basis which is not aligned with your goals? And this sort of links to another quote that I heard which I absolutely love, which is, happiness is the absence of unhappiness. So don't add things, remove what makes you unhappy. And I think we tend to just always adding new things, new ideas, new goals, you know, always adding to our lives and it's really important to just take time and reflect and actually take things out of your life as well. Take things out that are, you know, maybe it's a really negative friend. Um, it can be all sorts of stuff and just removing things from your life that make you unhappy. Uh, it it's, can be a game changer. Okay, so moving on. Then I list the goal. So this is sort of like the overall, this is what I'm trying to achieve. So for me in the business, it's a, an entrepreneur's journey, one episode each month. For family, it's be clear on what makes us happy and act on it. So basically planning ahead. And for personal, it's for me to go back to Toastmasters on a regular basis. Now, that isn't really good enough as a goal. Like That is what I'm trying to achieve, but you need to get much more specific on it as well to know whether you've achieved that or not. Um, because you, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with goals, you don't want anything to be sort of, oh, did I achieve that or did I really? Like it has to be super specific. So there's no if or buts, you just know whether you've achieved it or not. So my specific action to do with the journey episode is not just to do one episode per month, but the real goal is to, to spend 30 minutes either shooting or planning per week. 
And I can't stress enough how important it is to have to, to look at this and have like break your goals into a per week or even a per day basis. Um, you, you might have things that you sort of, uh, what, what if, uh, mistakes that I've made in the past have been, you know, okay, so my, my goal is to have one episode per month. So I was only checking in on it once a month and I'd get to the end of the month and be like, oh, duh, I forgot to do that. Um, oh, geez, I, I failed it for another month now. So it's really important to break it down into smaller chunks that you're checking regularly and then you know whether you're on track or not. So that's the goal for the business, for the family. Uh, it, it's family planning meeting between 5.30 and 6 p.m. on Tuesdays. So it, it can't get any more specific than that. That is our meeting time. And there we're gonna uh, plan um, just anything to do with Lewis, uh, you know, financials, we're going to discuss all these things during that meeting. And for personal, the goal is 100% attendance on the first and the third Thursday of every month, which is when that Toastmasters class is held. Uh, it's between 7.30 and 9.30 and that's unless I'm travelling. Like if I'm interstate or something, then, you know, that's not a, a fail, that's just... Some things are unavoidable, but it's good to be clear on those things from the beginning, you know. Um, something which is a grey area currently with this is, what if I'm sick? So a way around that is you could actually write in there, uh, if I'm sick enough not to go, then I have to get a doctor's certificate for that. It can't just be, oh, I've got a sniffly nose, so uh, that'll pass. So thinking of these things ahead really helps um, later on down the track. Um, so I found it... Useful to, to put feelings in here, here, in here as well. So feelings, you know, how are you going to feel when you're on top of this goal, when you're accomplishing it? So for business, I'm going to feel proud. I'm going to feel accomplished. And I'm going to feel um, like I'm, you know, these episodes are partly to help you and partly to uh, help guide my son as well as he grows up and to learn more about me. And if I happen to pass away like my father did, um, you know, I, I want him to have this. Um, so, so, you know, these can be quite powerful listing these feelings and can help keep you on track, um, you know, when you go off, off track, which you will, no doubt it happens to all of us. Um, for family, um, I feel loved, appreciated, and again, Wolfpack, I've said that a few times, that's just, you know, a tight family, we, you know, nothing penetrates us, we are a unit together, and, and we're strong together, that's, that's what I think of when I see Wolfpack. Uh, personal, uh, I feel connected, because I'm not a very social person, so I don't have lots of friends, I'm not out socialising a lot, so this is a good way for me to be social, um, but still mentally stimulated as well, and still learning. I love learning, um, so that's that, that are the feelings associated with Toastmasters. Uh, in this line here, which is resources, so this might just be any links to any articles, or here I've got the Toastmasters website, which I can look things up. Uh, for family, I have the, the agenda for our meeting in Asana, so it's just, just putting that in there. So any links, any resources which are going to help you um, to achieve your goal. So when I'm filming this, I haven't actually done anything yet, but I just thought I'd give you some examples of the way that I track this on a weekly basis. Um, and again, like I'll, I'll give you some tools later, um, but set like a specific time to check this once a week or, or once a day or, or whatever it might be, um, even as going as far as setting alarms on your phone to remind you to check it because it's so easy to just get caught up in life and and forget to check in on this. I've done it myself, you know, so many times. It's just, oh, my goal thing, I haven't looked at it in two months. Yeah, yeah, and it's just impossible to achieve your goals if, if that's uh, how you're living. So for business, um, I would put in, you know, so for each week here, I'll check in. And so this would be at the end of the week for the past week, I would enter this in. And so I would say, okay, 30 minutes planning done and, and have specifically on the date that it was done. And then, okay, so 30 minutes of shooting was done on that specific date. And if I were to miss that on a particular week, I would write the reason why I missed that goal. And that's really important because if you start to see the same thing 
come up a few times and there's a pattern and there's something that you have to change when you recognize that pattern. So something that happens to me sometimes is I miss a goal, but basically just due to lack of discipline um, because there's other work that I just felt like doing instead of doing what I needed to do. So uh, it's important to, to write that in there. And so I just, you know, when I'm doing it, I give it a green, this would be a red, so I failed that particular uh, week. It doesn't mean I failed the goal overall, um, but it, it's good to just, you know, make note of the weeks that you do fail. And then a good one hour shooting done on the 28th of the 1st. So, so that basically gives a rundown of my business goal, of my family goal. So I'm just gonna write done on the 7th of the 1st. So we had our, our family planning meeting. Um, in this situation, we missed it on that exact time. So that 5.30 to 6 on Tuesdays. Uh, we didn't hold it then, but we still did have it. it so we, I'm writing that it was moved to Thursday the 16th of the 1st. Um, again, it's just for pattern recognition. So I didn't fail it, we still did it, but we just didn't do it at the time that we thought we were gonna do it or planning to do it. And again, if you notice that, you know, that happens three or four times, then it's like, oh, maybe we need to rethink about the time that we're, we're setting for this. Maybe that's not a good time to do it. Um, so that's, that's basically the color scheme of that. You know, you can include orange on there as a bit of a warning. Um, and then over here for my personal, so the first week back um, when they would usually have it been the first Thursday of the month, because of Christmas they closed down, so I just make note of, of that. Um, because they only have the class twice a month, then there are going to be weeks that are just not applicable and that's fine, just don't put a colour in it, just put NA. And then again, a green if I've, if I've done it. Um, there will be no orange for this because it's either I've done it or I haven't. Um, so basically be, be green or red. Um, so I hope that helps you, gives you some structure around um, tracking your goals. Now, it's really, really important that you get this in front of you basically daily. So what I do, and I do this through Chrome, which is my browser, um, but you can do it through others as well, whether you have Firefox or whatever it might be. So I'll show you this feature in Chrome and then, um, and then I'll talk about how you can do it in other browsers if you use other browsers. But I would almost recommend moving across to Chrome um, because it's great, it's good, and um, I'll show you exactly how to do it in here. But it basically, every time I open up Chrome, it opens all these tabs automatically, like whatever I want to see on a daily basis. So if I close this down now, actually I want to save that. Uh, so if I close everything down now, so that's gone, and say in the morning you wake up or whatever, you open Chrome, then see all these tabs are automatically open and I've set that in Chrome, that's what I want to happen in there. So how you do that is, uh, so, so open the tabs that you want in there, and then come across to these three little dots, and come down to settings, and then down here, scroll down, and it says on startup. And then what you want to do is say use current pages. And if you click that button, then just whatever is open at that stage, then that will open every single time that you open Chrome, then that's going to bring all those up. So it's really important that this goal setting, uh, goal tracking document is included in there because you really want to be seeing that every single day. Um, even if you don't have something to write in there every day, so I'm only actually putting things in this once a week, but I'll still look at it every single day because it just mentally prepares me for, okay, Thursday, you know, it might be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm, I'm constantly in my mind. Thursday, I'm going to Toastmasters. I'm not going to make any plans on Thursday which are going to potentially jeopardize that. So um, really important. I, I, seriously, I would say that this is 80% of keeping on top of your goals is just this. It's just looking at this every single day. And if you do that, you really, it, it's, it's almost impossible to, to fail your goals, to be honest. Um, the, the biggest thing that I see, the biggest failure of people is just forgetting to look at this and track this. Um, uh, also, just to give you an idea, like me, tracking this and doing these goals, I've calculated that it's about two hours a week on average. 
So yes, this is Toastmasters is two hours um, once every fortnight, so that averages to an hour a week. Uh, so you know, it, it, it's quite a simple thing to do. It's it's you know, your goals don't have to be this big, massive thing that you have to accomplish. Um, it really is for me. It's just just having these these set things that I'm just chipping away at. And, and you can do the same. Like if you can't find two hours in your week to do this, there's something seriously wrong and you have to really reflect and, and, and work out, you know, what you need to change in your life. Um, whether it's throw away the TV, get rid of it. Like we, we took the TV out of our living room years ago and, and we've never regretted it. We don't have a TV at home. Um, just little things like that can really be life changing. Okay, so not only do you want to be looking at this every single day, but you want to give yourself every opportunity that you can as little reminders everywhere. So uh, for me, I'll jump to this camera now. So I have my vision board here, which is a reminder about my goals every single day. I have this in the bathroom at home, and I have this here at work as well. I constantly have alarms going off on my phone. This Fitbit, this has a silent alarm. It's vibrating constantly to remind me to do things. There's lots of apps that you can get, reminders. Um, what else are there? Uh, little notes everywhere. So I, I've written lots of little notes and you can see this here on my computer. Um, I have this sort of thing in my car as well. Um, constant little reminders everywhere. Uh, I even know that some people, I don't do this myself, but I know some people write a full sentence as their password and, and that, you know, that sentence is something related to their goal. So every single time they're writing their password, they're writing their goal in there. Like all these things, like it sounds crazy, but it honestly, it really helps because it's just always having your goals front of mind um, just makes you achieve them. You, you can't fail them if you do that. All right, I think I've talked enough. So um, there's a lot of information here. Check out the blog as well. All the links you need will be there. And, um, and comment below. I'm happy to jump in and, and give you any more guidance that you need. Um, I really hope this has helped and this gets you off to the right track for 2020. And let's smash some goals.